Good afternoon, folks. Uh, we'll do a, another knife talk video. Uh, move this a little bit. So, I ordered a mini trapper two weeks ago, and it just has came yesterday. Uh, and this is this is a saw cut bone. It's called saw cut jig dark molasses bone. So a couple months ago, I bought the large trapper, the full-size trapper, same knife, same pattern, I mean, same bone, shield and all. So, uh, you know, I, I carry I carry a big trapper every day, uh, pretty much, or a stockman. I got the stockman on my sheet, in my sheath today and I always have a uh, sod buster, but... I started, my first case knife I started carrying was a mini trapper. And uh, not the same exact bone as this. It was more of a brown kind of, I guess, a chestnut bone. I still have it upstairs. But so it's got the pretty bow tie shield. I love this this kind of bone right here, this cut, the saw cut. You can see how pretty it is. It's just a real pretty uh, handle. Great size, fit in your pocket. Great size uh, for your pocket. Uh, and I've got, I've got my uh, sod buster in this uh, coffin sheet slip, and the uh, mini trapper fits in it perfect. So if you have a mini trapper, or one of these uh, smaller. A small size or sod buster size coffin slips they're good for the mini trapper or the mini copperhead you can see it fits either way however you want to carry it whatever whatever your poison is uh, but so I uh, you know I'm, I'm gonna put this one up I've got the matching one in a full-size trapper, just like this one, but it's full-size. And you can see, you know, you can see the difference, how much how much bigger the, the uh, full-size trapper is than the mini trapper, quite a bit. This is a good, hard-use, everyday, you know, carry knife. This is a good EDC knife if you like a smaller knife. And I carry, like I said, I carried a mini trapper for years. Uh, but I have not checked to see if there's any blade wobble. Oh, nope. And nope. And there's no gaps. All righty then. No gaps in, in, the, in the back springs. Uh, so, are the blades lined up? Wow. I think these blades are perfect. And it's a case knife. There you go. So, uh, this is my latest find. Uh, I did buy me a uh, Remington bullet knife for $29. So, I got that bad boy. Uh, a couple other things that I've just started buying and I've, I've wanted to get some for a while but it's these it's these knife openers uh, I guess these are nickel uh, not sure what kind of metal this Remington one is but I missed out on a a bid there was like five or six of them on eBay and there was a Winchester some case some Remingtons but uh, I've you know I've been seeing these a while on Instagram and on Old American Knife he'll he'll have some pictures of them. I think Doom Crew has a few you know a lot of the knife people I follow and there's a lot of good knife people out there on Instagram if you like the hobby or you like to carry knives or use knives to cut with or bushcraft EDC you know knife collector whatever there's some good people on Instagram to follow. Uh, but this is the Remington one. Uh, it's just a cool little item, you know. It, it, they, uh, this is the case one. WR Case and Sons. 
It's got a little thing to put on the key ring and, and you know, supposedly you can use it to open your knife blade with. And I did. So, you know, I guess you don't have to mess your fingernail up. So, a neat collector's item. If you're a knife guy, if you're a knife collector, if you just want something cool to put on your key ring or something cool to EDC on your key ring, uh, these are cool. You can see the difference in them. This is more of a bullet, and this is, really don't know. This kind of looks like a some kind of a paddle or something, but this one has WR Case and Sons Bradford PA, nothing on the back. This one has Remington Cutlery, and it's got the Remington UMC stamp on it uh just a cool item uh, this is going on ebay i just took pictures of it so it's going on ebay and i'm putting another notebook two notebooks on the i'm not ebay i'm sorry on etsy this is going on etsy uh, and this is a scout draw and this one will fit a large trapper or it, you can slide a sod buster in here. Slot, sod buster will fit good in here. Uh, you, can, you can slide it right in there. Carry it nice. Good to go. Uh, I like carrying a knife this way. Simple, simple sheath. I like to make the simple sheaths. Uh, scout draw. Yeah, I'll put a little extra stuff on them. I may put a, a rivet and do, do a little bit of stamping. I don't get carried away with the stamping because the more time I take, the more money I have to, I charge. So, you know, I try to keep my prices down so I, I don't stamp as much. You know, I do do a little bit of stamping. Uh, this is a pretty die. This is a Tandy gel die. And this will fit most belt loops. Uh, or not belt loops, but belts. And that's what it looks like. I've also got a, another knife notebook going on Etsy. Uh, put it on there. Handy little item to have. You don't have to write your knife collection. If you just like knives, you want to carry your little notebook. Uh, another, little, another little item. Hand sewn. It's all hand sewn. Not a sewing machine, which, you know, I'm not knocking a sewing machine. Uh, I think they make they make your your leather work a little quicker too. Uh, another another style notebook. This is the Midori style uh, baseball tan leather. It's got a notebook in it. So these two. Uh, this is hand sewn right here. There's a little bit of an art to to sewing by hand. A little technique to it, uh, you know. So. Uh, but that's what the deal is. I'm, I'm debating on putting this one on, on Etsy or just carrying it myself. I may put it on there. We'll see. I'm, I'm debating. I've got a couple more of these made. I've got to sew them. Been real busy because I'm, I'm having to pack. We're going to move uh, here a couple months. So, you know, I'm trying to, we're going to move out. Get on out in the country a ways. I'm going to be living near my daughter. I'm going to have a little homestead out there. Still going to do the leather work. Still going to do my knives. Uh, nothing, none of that's going to change. Uh, just have a little bit more land than I got here. So, that's, that's the deal. Uh, I've also got a couple of these cut out. Making this one for a friend, friend's friend's. So I got to get down here and make some stuff. I've also got another another one of these, these pancake sheaths uh, cut out. I just, hadn't, I just hadn't punched the holes in them here. So I've got to do that, the belt holes. So I've got to do that. So I've got some projects going. You know, I had to go. My, my step-grandmother died. Last Sunday, so we, we had to go to South Carolina, and uh, my dad-in-law, God bless his soul, great man, USMC veteran, Marine veteran, great man, you know, and he, he uh, you know, so 
we, 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 he buried her yesterday, but we went down Tuesday, spent some time. So we got a lot of things been going on. Still trying to, still trying to, uh, stay on top of my leather. I try to keep a lot of stuff made. Matter of fact, I got a couple items I'm going to sell. So, well, I've sold. I got to get out and mail them tomorrow. I mailed an item today. Mailed a couple items yesterday. Or a couple items today. I actually mailed two, two notebooks today. So, these notebooks are popular. These little hand, or pocket size, rather. They're, they're pretty popular. Uh, got a field book in it. But, I actually hand carved uh, these these knife blades. You know, I hand carved them by hand. So anyway, basically it's got a it's got a solid buster blade, it's got a trapper clip blade, and it's got a spade blade. So that's my two favorite knife patterns. So we're gonna get that done. So anyway, uh, God bless you. Check these things out. Pretty cool item. Uh, just, just a neat little conversation piece. You can put them on your belt loop. I'm going to put them up. Uh, maybe take some nice pictures with it. Uh, so, hey, y'all have a, y'all have a great day, great evening, a great rest of the week. Today is my Friday. Tomorrow I will go get my grandbabies from school and come back here and probably do some leather work. Uh, so keep your blade sharp. Well, they say, lazy man carries a dull knife. Don't carry a dull knife. Lazy man uh, carries a sharp knife. Lazy man carries a dull knife. So there you go. So God bless you. Be careful out there.